Hello YouTube. Doing a quick uh, update on some of the fish here in this tank here. Um, I have two pairs on here. I have a pet uh, red is leaders. There's Benetton and then I have a pair of orange Midas. That's King Triton and that's Sunkiss back there. Look like they trying to fight Benetton off. This is Benetton. And of course, Surf is inside of his log hiding out. And I also have three um, fry that escaped my fry breeding box off of Benetton and Surf. They're around here somewhere. That's one right there. Just flash behind that pot. They usually hang back here somewhere, I guess. There it is right there. You can see in the back. Uh, surf. Chased them away from this area. They used to hang behind the sponge filter in the back. He kind of chased them off. Um, so down they hang out over here. The crazy thing is, I feed my fry flakes. So, I have... I had flakes floating around, you know, um, and I put a lot of flakes in here to make sure that they're eating their flakes. I know the bigger fish snatch the flakes as well, but I want to make sure that the, the small babies are getting flakes. Um, my goal is to remove all the small fry from here. Oh, but now we have war. So my goal is to remove all the small fry from here at the end of this month. Um, I think in that breeding box, I may have 10 or 11. And then I have three. There's one of them there. Um, floating around. Down here. With, with uh, Sunkiss and Triton. Watching them over. The weird thing is, Vendaton kind of stays in the middle because they don't allow her to come over. And Surf doesn't allow her to hang out with him. So she's always out and she's in the middle. Pretty much doing that thing. Um, I'm still waiting for her to come in. So I can stick her back with this thing right here. quick update on my King Midas. These are actually double King Midas. Double King Midas fry. Um, Mama's back there. Forget me not. Forget me not is off of a daughter to King Midas and a brother to a, um, another grandson to King Midas. So this is the second double King Midas spawning I had this year. The first spawning, I, it's just one left off of that that I have. Uh, it was one that I didn't, that I was unable to catch when I was separating the fry from the community tank. Um, so I just left it there and I said if it survived, you know, it earned the right to stick around. Um, the fry hasn't really grown. It's probably like uh, maybe an inch and they, they were born in August. So the fry is maybe an inch is the smallest fry. One of the smallest fish that's currently in that um, in that tank. Um, but yeah, these are my double. He might this I'll probably want to keep in ten and grow those out, and then the rest of them will be for sale. It'll be interesting to see because I didn't, like I said, I didn't um, keep any of the, the first one because it was a uh, well, I didn't do it on purpose. But this breeding, I wanted to put these two together, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a ton of them in here. I mean, and they eat like pigs, so. I haven't really done any water changes in here. Um, I'm going to try to get one done tomorrow. I'll just put a uh, stocking over top of my tube. And I won't clean the gravel. I'll just, just uh, of course, just take some of the water out and... Uh, give the tank a scrubbing in the inside and around the outside that's my plan for tomorrow for this tank though I feel 
like I should be able to um, do a water change safely without sucking up any of these but it's it may be a thousand in here it's, it's a lot of them and this tank here is probably my favorite tank uh, with two of my favorite fish Benetton and Speedy and the Lion's Eye um, I really like this Lion's Eye I like the way she looks I like her attitude you know and she's able to get along in here with the smaller fish uh, without beating them up my Elowensis these three uh, they, since they've been in this tank they really been showing out uh, pretty much taking off I like these three but uh, yeah I like this little tank here eventually I'm going to be moving them um, Elowensis out and I'm going to just have this lion's eye may put a divider in take out a lot of the, the decor and put the male lion's eye in and see what I could get. I just wanted to give them like a month to get uh, acclimated to just just being here, you know. Also, a quick update on Guantanamo Bay. This is the Guantanamo Bay tank. Elowens is in here. I think it's like eight of them. Hold the male, hangs out around this idiot, this daughter of uh, Kilimitis. She's on lock up for a little bit. One of my smaller eater winces. Three small ones, they like, like a three and a half inch, four inch one there. A couple of the other baby ones back there. My holders are hoping that these two get themselves together and decide to go in and spawn for me. That's the female is still chasing the male around, so I guess she's not ready. Um, yeah, I'm look, soon I'll be changing the gravel in this tank um, or adding some white gravel. Just throwing it on top of the black gravel. It might be too much to take it all out, but. Just throw some white on top of that black gravel to give it a, a little, um, to give this tank a brighter appearance. I've had this tank for about three years now, and I've always had this black gravel in here, and, um, it just needs to be a little brighter, so I'm switching over. Uh, some of the other tanks I had, I have natural lighting in those. I have white in that one down there. I have black in this one here, natural and natural and then the one over here I wind up putting some natural in that too I'm doing the water change on that but yeah I'm gonna, I got some things working alright YouTube thanks for watching